Sage for Sagan here, another core update. Dwayne Johnson and George Rampage figures have been released, and they are in your local Walmart. Well, maybe not your local Walmart, but somebody's local Walmart. This is a shot from a California Walmart. YouTuber Raz Holly, that's R-A-Z space H-O-L-L-Y, was kind enough to share these pictures with me. I really want you to go ahead and check out Raz Holly's channel. He actually has the UPC codes so he'll share with you if you want to look in BrickSeek to see where your closest Rampage figure is. But the thing about it is, is that uh, Raz is a YouTuber that makes some really high quality videos. And if you're not already subscribed, you should be checking out his videos. He has a lot of core stuff that he videotapes as well as his Swap Meet Sundays on his channel. So check him out. We're going to be looking at the figure in just a moment and going through articulation. We'll look at the Dwayne Johnson figure here. There's actually two different versions of this figure. There's a tan coated version and a brown coated version. So you can see here that George has uh, swivels at his shoulders. It looks like his head swivels just like Kong's head swivels. He has swivels of some sort at his el uh, elbows or arms. Uh, I'd like to know if those are actual pivots or if they just swivel and of course some sort of articulation at his hips. Now that way he can walk much like the ape does in all the videos you see. As we get down to where you can see the rock figure you can see it we don't have a really good close-up to work with here. Here is the back of the box. And of course, what I'm going to show next is actually a close up, but it's going to be a little blurry of that same picture. You can see here that The Rock uh, is looking kind of dead eyed here. <laughs> uh, he has a tan coat on, still has that white shirt showing through. They did, they did some extra paint apps here. You can see he has a belt painted on, unlike some of the other new figures that rely on the uh, lower part of the pants being part of the bulletproof vest um, and of course he has it painted completely you know separate so it is pants he's wearing here's the same figure everything else looks the same except for he has a tan a brown coat on instead of tan and I think this is a superior paint application as far as in my opinion this is just an opinion I like the color combination better here I don't like how the tan arms on the other one match the tan arms. So it looks kind of like they're different colors slightly. Um, so I like this brown, you know, can hide that a little bit better. Anyway, uh, I do want to thank you for checking out my channel and watching my videos. Be sure to check out Raz's stuff. He's going to be doing some reviews with articulation as well as more information to come. He has UPC codes if you need to try to use BrickSeek to find this stuff. And I just want to say, pile on the plastic and have a good day.